Australian Indigenous Senator Lydia Thorpe recently made headlines with her bold and public confrontation of King Charles III during his visit to Australia's parliament. As the British monarch arrived, Thorpe loudly declared, you are not my king, and accused him of representing a legacy of colonial violence against Australia's indigenous people. The incident quickly gained attention for both its content and the passion behind Thorpe's words, shedding light once again on the country's ongoing debates about its colonial past and future as a constitutional monarchy. Thorpe, an outspoken advocate for indigenous rights, was escorted out of the parliamentary reception after she shouted, you committed genocide against our people. She demanded the return of indigenous remains and land, calling for a treaty to address the historical wrongs done to Australia's First Nations people. The absence of a formal treaty between the British colonizers and indigenous Australians remains a significant point of contention, and Thorpe's demands for recognition and reparation resonated with many though it also sparked debate across the political spectrum. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, who has voiced his preference for Australia to eventually become a republic, acknowledged the complexity of Australia's relationship with the Crown. He commended King Charles for respecting Australians, even during debates about the country's future. However, his comments hinted that change may be on the horizon, saying, nothing stands still. Opposition leader Peter Dutton, on the other hand, expressed his support for keeping the British monarchy even humorously noting that both monarchists and republicans had prepared for the royal visit. Thorpe's activism is nothing new. She has gained attention for her protests in the past, including during her swearing-in ceremony as a senator in 2022, when she attempted to refer to Queen Elizabeth II as the colonizing Her Majesty. Her confrontation with King Charles during this visit only added to her reputation as a fierce advocate for her people's rights and justice. While controversial, Thorpe's actions have fueled discussions about Australia's identity, its colonial history, and whether it should remain tied to the British monarchy. In a country where the relationship between indigenous peoples and the colonial state is still raw, Thorpe's words continue to spark debate. For many Australians, the question of whether to sever ties with the monarchy remains a contentious issue, and moments like this underline the deep divisions that still exist. Thorpe's impassioned stance, whether seen as disruptive or courageous, highlights the urgency of addressing these historical injustices and shaping Australia's future path forward. Stay subscribed for more videos.